Okay, so next build on the list. So I have another build that me and Jack have been talking about for quite some time, and it happens to be a necromancer. Um, however, I'm going to have uh, to cheat in a necromancer for this purpose, uh, specifically so that I can, I can actually make it. All right, so let's go ahead and pull up old school Diablo. You guys are going to hear them hear the music. All right, we're going to create ourselves a uh, necromancer and we're going to call him We're going to call him Spreading Plague. All right, and we're going to close out the game. Oh yeah, the gear, the Merc gear. Well, I I actually didn't have my Merc up at one point. Remember Twin Guild Combat? And I was still doing fairly well. So I'm not sure if the Infinity was, was even necessary. I don't know. It definitely helped. Don't get me wrong. It definitely helped. But I'm not sure if it was necessary. All right, so let's bring Hero Editor back up. Let me make sure it's on stream. Uh, da, da, da. Is it on stream? Yeah. Here, but uh, that's not the correct. Why do you look like that? There we go. All right. So now we're going to open our character, uh, the plague, the plague, spreading plague. Okay. Alright, so here is the Spreading Plague. And uh, we're going to make him level 99 as well. Uh, we're going to give him uh, 2,000 health. We're going to give him 500... Uh, let's, let's just give him 1,000 mana for testing purposes. Um, 2,000 stamina. We're going to give him um, 200 strength. 200 dex. And uh, 500 vitality. Sorry, 300 vitality. Um, we're going to give him no stat points, max gold, hell difficulty, save. Uh, we're also going to go over to his quest, same as before, a long finished batch. Skills, um, he's going to get 115 points. Waypoints, we're going to give him everything. Save. All right, so equipment. Uh, this character is going to be very odd. Um, the The idea of this character um, is to create a chain of poison novas. Um, so the the idea is to have as many poison novas going off as humanly possible, and if possible, we want our poison novas to be triggering more poison novas. Um, with the idea that we will have literally so many poison novas going at any given time that we will probably be absolutely ridiculous. All right, so first thing he needs, which is a very expensive item, um, is going to be a Breath of the Dying, believe it or not. Uh, because Breath of the Dying has a 50% chance to proc poison nova on death of a monster. This is the this is the key to the entire build, so it has to be this sword. Why is there no Breath of the Dying in my list? There's really no Breath of the Dying in here. The sadness. <laughs> Gonna desync and crash for sure. So you say. Crystal sword, you say? 
I was actually uh, hoping to beat some things with it, to be honest. Figure if I'm going to use a Breath of the Dying, I might as well beat some people with it. Might miners well beat some people with it. Alright, so we have a beast which can be converted into the Breath of the Dying. Uh, which is, is what we're going to have to do. So we're going to edit this file here. Actually, you know what? Let's not even... Let's, uh, da, 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 da. No, we're going we're, yeah, we're to have to edit it. Never mind. Alright. Phase blade it is then. There we go. Breath of the Dying. All right. So next on the list, uh, we want another odd item, which is a uh, a, a shield. So uh, let's go ahead and grab the uniques, and we're going to go into the shield uniques, and we have a very odd shield, which we were going to put on him. It's called Radamant's Sphere, which has a, uh, a chance to cast Poison Nova as well. And then we are also going to put on him another item that has chance to cast Poison Nova, which is the helmet known as Andariel's Visage. So he's going to be rocking um, Andariel's Visage, Radamant's Sphere, and um, Breath of the Dying, which is three different forms of proccing Poison Nova. Now, he definitely needs some poison damage increase, so we are going to give him the uh, set gloves for Trangules. Trangules is uh, pretty nice. It's pretty nice. We might actually go to uh, three-piece Trangules with the shield if we, if we need to. So I'm going to take a look at that. So uh, exceptional sets, Trangalulules. Actually, it's elite set, isn't it? All right, so we need the gloves. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give him the belt because it's going to synergize with the gloves. And uh, we're also going to give him the shield just in case we decide to use the shield instead of Radamance. Um, so we're going to have one, two, three. Um, and then, of course, we need armor. So we're going to give him Bramble. Bramble is uh, is the poison damage armor. Hopefully I have that rune word here. Uh, C-O-H. Never seem to have the rune words that I want. Never, never, never. Edit item. Rune word. Bramble. Where are you at, Bramble? Bramble. Save modified item. Close. All right. And then uh, he needs some boots. So uh, we're going to give him uh, Marowaks. I don't see any reason why not. We'll just give him some Marowak boots. And, uh, and then rings and Amy. So uh, we're just going to give him a Mara's. And we're going to give him two Soges. Why not? Um, and then we're going to give him a bunch of Chammies. So let me take this. Put it in here. And we're going to give him tons of poison chamois. So import item file. Charms. Um, he also is going to want a, uh, a torch. Let me give him a torch before I forget to give him a torch. <laughs> Class items. Necro. Necromancer torch. 
Give him an Annihilus Charm as well. And uh, then we're going to give him some Necro Torches. Or some Necro Charms. So, Miscellaneous, Charms, Skillers, Necro, Poison and Bone. And we might as well give him uh, some resistance charms because he's probably going to need them because his gear is probably not quite up to spec. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Life resist small charm. Here we go. Save. All right, so he's pretty much set up. That's uh, that's pretty much how we want him to be. So we're going to go ahead and close this. And um, I'm going to transfer his file over, and then we're going to get started. I apologize for the boring part of this, but it is necessary for a good theory grant. Spreading Plague. Where are you at, Spreading Plague? There you are. Control C. Paste. All right, here we go. So I gotta restart. Uh, I gotta restart the game. I did not remember to give him a merc. I was gonna buy him a merc. I'm not really sure the merc is gonna help him out very much, to be honest. But we will, we will, we will give it a try. Offline, the spreading plague. Here he is. Should name of COVID. I missed out. Oh no, the uh, the armor didn't go to a bramble, and the. And the weapon didn't go to a beast. Okay, so I'm going to have to fix this, unfortunately. I need both of those items for this build to work. So, I'm going to I'll have to bring in uh, two hell runes and, uh, and strip these. Bramble's three sockets, isn't it? All right, I can strip duress. And this is only, this is a five socket weapon. Mm. Let's try. Let's try this one more time. I, I, I'll. I'll. Uh, I'll get it. I'll get it. I didn't like my hacking of the bramble word and the and the breath of the dying word. So we're just gonna have to create them, which is uh, which is okay. It's just gonna take a second. I was trying to cheat and go quickly, but. Uh, Initiate cheating protocol. Yes, this is a uh, single player Bob Pella. We're we're doing uh, theory crafts. Theory crafts. All right. Can you guys still see the? Uh... Yeah, you guys can still see it. Good. All right. So we need to fix these two pieces of armor. And uh, let me go ahead and put this one in the stash. Put this one in the stash. All right, edit file. Oh, I know what I should do. Yes, that makes sense. Okay, so what I should probably do is number one, Let's load this character up in the original game, and let's see if the items are still intact. Uh, if they change in the original game... Okay, so even in the original game, they don't convert, which is... Uh, yes, understandable. So we're going to need a six-socketed weapon, doesn't matter what it is, and we're going to need a, a three-socketed item. So let's just go ahead and import 
the Herodric Cube. I can rename him to COVID now. Don't forget Poison Facets. Oh yeah, good idea. Poison Facets would definitely help. I can put one in his helmet at the very least, and maybe one in his armor. Or his shield. Alright, cube. Let me go ahead and give him two hell runes. So he can remove the runes from the armors. And uh, then let me also give him the runes for both the recipes. So we need to give him uh, the runes for a bramble. Which is Ral Om Sir F. So import. Ral Om. Man, a freaking Om rune in this thing, huh? That's kind of expensive. <laughs> and a Sir rune. Ral Om Sir F. And then we also need the runes for Breath of the Dying. So Breath of the Dying is a rather long rune word. It is uh, Vex Hell... Vex Hell El Eld Zod Eth. I know you guys can't see my selection windows, but uh, but you can see the items magically appear on the screen. Vex Hell El Eld Zod. And then F. And like somebody said, let me also give him some uh, poison facets. That's a good idea. I totally forgot about that. So let's go ahead and grab Jewel's poison facet um, on death. And we'll do two of those. Because we can't put anything in the armor, can't put anything in the weapon, but we can put one in the helmet and we can put one in the shield. Let's give him a third one, actually. And uh, let's make sure that the... Um, both of these items are socketed. So save. All right, so they're both already socketed. So let's just go ahead and put them in there, shall we? Uh, hold on. Let me just. I'll just put them back in here. It'll be all right. I'm not sure if I can. Uh, I can do that the way I want to. All right. So we need the armors and the weapon. So I need something that is six socketed. I have quite a few recipes in here. I'm sure something is six socketed. What if I was never born? Oh my bad, that, not that kind of theory craft. Human, if you were never born, then we were never born. For human, you are the beginning of us all. One of us. One of us. Alright, so I need a three socket armor to strip. And uh, fortitude is not it. COH. COH will work. We'll rip a COH, and then we also need a, um, we will also need a six socket weapon to strip. I'm trying to remember what six socket weapons I have. I 
Is Doom six sockets? I can't even remember. What's up, beautiful lady? I'm not really sure how I can get six sockets. This is uh, this is a little. It's a little tough when you're dealing with uh, hero editor. Doom is five sockets. That doesn't that doesn't really help me though. I don't know. Probably. Why don't you come show off your your hoodie? You always look beautiful. She 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 looks the mess, ladies and gentlemen. She look beautiful. Don't let her lie to you like that. All right. I'm just going to take the um I'm just going to take the the runes out of this. I can't. You got what? You going to burn it? Last wish, people. Alright, so we just need to make sure this is the correct number of uh, sockets. So, some... Remove sockets. Save. And then we want to uh, add sockets. It says six sockets. Alright, let's... All right, so let me make sure that I've got six sockets, and if we've got six sockets, we're ready to go. We are ready to go, perhaps. Maybe. Yes, okay, good. It's six sockets. We are ready to go. So let me go ahead and close out Hero Editor. And uh, we're going to copy the save file over, and we should be we should be ready to do this. So I, I thought we were ready before, but uh, but no, we we are now now we are in the ready shape. Spreading plague, copy. Paste. Replace each in the destination. He thought you were watching a recording. No, no, no. It is me, Ginger Gaming Mentor. It is I. If you are watching a recording, you're watching a recording with 112 other viewers. 112 other viewers who better smash that like button. I only got 44 likes and there's 108 people watching. Suckers. Why am I in a queue? I'm trying to go to single player. <laughs> All right, so we've got our Chains of Honor here. Uh, why does Chains of Honor have four? I thought Chains of Honor was three. That's okay. We can use uh, we can use duress or something like that. Yeah, we'll we'll we'll, we'll kill duress. It'll be all right. All right, so we've got our six socket axe. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy socketed up. All right, so it's vex. L L L 
Zod. F. Bam. Breath of the Dying. You died? Don't die. Alright, so we're going to uh, rip the duress out of this. <laughs> hmm. I didn't say hit it multiple times. I just said smash it once. Just got to smash. All right, we're going to rip the uh, runes out of duress. If you guys don't know this, hell rune plus scroll of town portal plus new rune word equals no more rune word. <laughs> All right, so we've got our armor. Let's go ahead and uh, put our rune word in it. So we want... Um, oh, is, is it a four socket rune word? Dang it. Double dang it. Triple dang it. I thought it was a three socket rune word. Did I look up the wrong rune word? Bramble D2. It is a four socket rune word. God bless it. Redo! 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 Redo, 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 redo. I don't want to wait in queue. Um. Bink. <laughs> All right. There we go. Bink. <sighs> Hopefully we get a good roll, good roll on the bramble. I don't know if you guys know this, but bramble rolls pretty awful sometimes. Uh, Bramble is a very good armor for a, uh, a poison necromancer. We're gonna we're gonna roll it together. So it is uh, Ral Ohm Sir F, and we got thirty one percent poison skill damage. Not the greatest. Let's go ahead and put our facet in the armor or the shield. We'll put our facet in the helmet. And our facet in the uh, the head. Good, the facet. I just already got one. All right. So which one is going to be better? We get negative twenty five percent of poison resistance if we have the triangle's wing on, which is probably going to be better than Radamant Sphere. Even though Radamant Sphere is going to give us the poison nova. I don't know. We'll put it on. Uh, we'll put it on swap for right now. We'll we'll play around with it. All right. So we've got our full set of equipment. We've got our, uh, our our gear on how we need it, and now we need our skills. So uh, so what are we going to do for skills? Well, we're going to grab the entire poison tree. So we're going to max out all of the poison skills. And uh, we are also going to max out lower resistance. All right, so we've got low resistance, and we've got the poison skills. And then we're also going to grab some skeletons, because why not? And uh, our main ability is going to be Poison Nova. And then we're also going to, uh, let's see, let's grab, let's grab skeletons. I think that's probably our best bet here. Where's our skeletons? There we go. So skeletons. So F1 for our Nova, F2 for our skeletons. And uh, let's go out and let's see what we can do. Oh yeah, F3 for our lower resistance curse. My bad. You know, this character might be better played on a controller. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. 
it might be it might be a little bit more enjoyable on a controller. A lot of button swapping going on. Do I have my Xbox controller down here anywhere? I don't even know if I still have it. I might have forgotten to move it to this room. All right. So first off, let's go grab our mercenary. Uh, we need we need a mercenary, something. Um, I'm trying to think what would be a good mercenary for this character. Um, it's highly ele elemental damage. There's really not a lot that helps with poison. Blessed Aim is out. Might is out. Um, Holy Freeze might be useful. Maybe a uh, Prayer Insight Merc for for just so I could spam abilities as uh, as fast as humanly possible. Let's do that. Prayer Insight Merc. So we gotta go get our mercenary. No, no, no. I actually kind of want them to hit me, Ryan. All right, so the highest level prayer I can get is Chalon. Let's go get him some equipment. I feel like uh, Necromancer and Assassin play really well with a uh, with a controller. Yes, beautiful lady. You had a super chat? Mm. Well, it says there might also super chat up there. Is that all super chat from today? Oh, no, those are donations. Those are just straight up donations. People just sent me money. What? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want to make a, a donation, I believe the link for that is. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the link to sh to get your name to get your to get your name up on the board to get your name up on the board it is it is this link right here I'm pretty sure I think it's that one that's the one that gets your name up on the screen Just, uh, <laughs> My beautiful lady. All right, so he needs a weapon. Um, we'll give him Doom. That sounds good. Why not? Here, have a Doom. And uh, what other helmets we got? You can have something stupid like a a Nadir or a Lore. Here, have a Lore helmet. <laughs> She's my girlfriend, not my mommy. She's my beautiful lady. All right, spreading plague. She said, "I donate every day." <laughs> whoa, 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 Keith. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I thought you said licking. I was like, "Whoa." Okay, that's not so bad. I'll, I'll let that. I'll let that one pass. I'll let it pass. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! die look at that beautiful volcano I should have given my American obedience that's pretty that's so pretty Merc look at you making little volcanoes um <laughs> 
I can kind of like go over it with you if you'd like. All right, come on. Where are you, Rakanishu? We need a leg. Not just any leg. We need the leg. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm beating people with my breath of the dying. What's my max skeletons? 12. So what you're noticing is that when it procs, I'm casting Nova multiple, multiple times. So you notice sometimes when it happens, I'll have like two or three or four Novas coming out at the same time. That's that's when I'm getting all these little these little proc effects. Because what it is, is uh, Breath of the Dying has a chance to cast Poison Nova of 50% when something dies. So every single time something dies, I get an extra Nova. And, and it literally stacks up on top of each other like crazy. I want to try a Sin with Beast Wound Word and Treachery. You think shapeshifting would do enough quick damage? I'm not really sure about that one. Shapeshifting is a little odd because you can't use any of your own abilities. You have to use shapeshifting abilities. Oh, he's immune to poison! Whatever will I do? He's immune to physical, too. Let's just walk by this guy. What are the chances he'd be immune to poison and physical? Oh, no. Aha. Smart thinking. Well, give me just a minute, Mark. We're going to go into the cow level and test out this build. And then once I've tested out this build, I'll uh, I'll, uh, I'll go over it and, and it with you. Oof. Get off my lawn. Thanks. All right. I need a cube. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, here we go, ladies and germs. Ladies and germs, welcome to the show. It's a nice show. It's a very good show. I heard you're gonna like this show. We got a good show this evening. I hope all of you are interested in the show. Hey, a white monarch. <laughs> Who wants a white monarch? I'm kidding. I'm in single player offline. No white monarchs for you. All right, so let's bump this up to players eight, shall we? Bump it. We're bumping it up. We're bump. We're bumping it. All right, let's get a nice, thick group of monsters. Dude, all the extra poison novas are actually kind of hilarious. 
some demon hide boots, huh? There's them, uh, there's them inferno strides we were talking about earlier. Oh, here's the cow king. All right, here we go. Here we go. Come on, cow king. Let's go, buddy. So many poisons. <laughs> okay, so I don't know what to think about this. Um uh, I mean it it feels a lot like a regular poison nova necromancer. Like it doesn't feel like anything super duper special. It um I can definitely tell that when things are dying, the 50% chance to proc the Poison Nova is definitely going off. So as things die, you can definitely see the extra Poison Novas that are being cast from the um, from the, the death effect. And you can definitely see the extra Poison Novas that come out when I get hit. Um, or, you know, just, just in general, like anything that is not just the regular casting rate definitely seems pretty obvious. And um, so, like, for instance, right now, if I go ahead and I just spam cast this, you can definitely notice that when something dies, you have extra Novas popping out all over the place. And um, my Merc has Novas? I didn't think my Merc had Novas. <laughs> Let me out. Literally, as they're dying, I'm getting more Novas. Like, I'm not even casting the spell. And as they're collapsing, I'm getting more Novas and more Novas. Hmm. Hmm. You know what would be really fun if you had Nova and a bow? That actually might make it even better. Because if you had the Breath of Dying and a bow, you could shoot the bow. And you could get tons and tons of damage. I don't know. It's, uh... It's nice. I feel like my Merc could be better min-maxed. I feel like, um... Maybe skeletons weren't the best idea. Maybe I could have gone with something else. Not really 100% sure on what I could have gone with other than the skeletons. Um, I could have actually put one point into summon resist. I forgot to do that. I probably could have gotten away with less points in lower resist if I really wanted to. Could honestly turn this into a melee character. I mean, I have level 22 corpse explosion as well, so I guess I could also uh, rely on that. No. How did Nova not go through the little wall? <laughs> he died. He's proc to Nova. This is, these are very silly builds. They're very silly. It's, um... I'm not really sure what to think about this one. It's not as amazing as... as the other build. It's definitely not. I mean, it just kind of feels like a Poison Nova Necromancer. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Poison Nova Necromancers are pretty cool, but I kind of expected it to be a little bit more awesome. 
Hmm. Let's go somewhere a little bit more difficult, shall we? Let's go to um, Chaos Sanctuary. A little bit rough on players eight. Let's try slash players one. No. No. It's not working. Why is it not working? I can't. <laughs> You have lost experience. What experience? I don't even have any experience. That's weird. It's not letting me change the players. Really odd. Oh no. Oh no. I feel like if you're not actively killing thing, things, the on-death proc is just not good enough. And uh, it's part of the issue here is that you don't really necessarily have enough damage. I think those guys in particular are immune to poison as well, so they're only barely taking any damage. Which is, of course, not helping. Let me go uh, play with um, someone that I know is not immune to poison. So let's go to Frigid Highlands. Found two high runes yesterday, a Sir and a Vex. Dang, bro, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. What do you need? That's pretty darn sweet, if I do say so. I... No, no. All right, let's try it here, shall we? Well, that was fast. Let's go down here. See, the interesting thing is I also have the proc on my helmet, which means that if I get hit at any time, there's a very good chance I'm going to proc a Nova. And that is the uh, the Andariel's Visage. I am the Antarial's Visage has the 15% uh, the chance to cast level 15 Poison Nova when struck. It also has a fifth level 51 Poison Nova when I die. I wonder how much damage that thing does. Well, first we were theory crafting a Procason change, and uh, and now we're theory crafting a uh, a Proca ne a Proca Necro, the Spreading Plague is what I've call it. Well, call him. Basically, what he's got is he's got multiple ways to proc Poison Nova. Multiple, multiple ways. I am you ever seen Poison Nova cast that fast? That was like four casts in one second. Rocket Necro, that's right. Congrats on the new governor. 
Yeah, I heard he doesn't take uh, office until like January or something. I don't know. My girlfriend's excited. I've, uh, I barely even pay attention to politics. High latency poison nova. You don't make fun of my poison nova-ness. What's up, buddy? I mean, things melt. There's definitely there's definite melting going on. Uh. Ooh, them champions died fast. They died really fast. Watch me die fast. <laughs> oh, they hurt so bad. Every time a poison nova goes all off, what that is though is somebody's dying. So despite the fact that I was running away, the poison was still killing things. Oh, they're immune to poison. What? I didn't know freaking gloams are immune to poison. I'm pretty sure I'm on P8. Yeah, P8. Player set to 8. I think so anyway. Let's try it. let's just type in slash players eight anyway. Let's uh, nothing nothing came up, so I guess we are on players eight. Although I'm having some issues with the command right now, it doesn't seem to be responding to me. Check over here. I need mana. Ow, mana burn. Not mana. I think these guys are normally immune to poison. So this is uh, this is against a monster that is immune to poison. I'm pretty sure I'm breaking it with the with the lower resistance, but um, they're only just barely taking damage, as opposed to like a lot of the other monsters. When I hit them, they're just like massively taking huge amounts of damage. So what am I what am I taking away from this? It's 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 kind of difficult to decode what's going on, but what I can see is that the breath of the dying is in fact increasing the kill speed of the poison nova necromancer exponentially. So think about it like this. As the monsters die, so as each monsters die, another nova is coming out of you. So you're sitting there spamming your novas and and as each monster dies, another Nova is coming out. You're also getting Novas for things that are hitting you as well. So as each monster dies, more Novas are coming out. More monsters are dying because more Novas are coming out. And as more monsters die, you're getting more Novas. And it leads to a Nova chain where literally, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but it will literally spawn like six or seven Novas in a row as the monsters continually die and each nova triggers another death because obviously increased damage across the board is going to to create more opportunities for those novas to spawn and so it's like a it's almost like an exponential death rate so so you know as you find more and more monsters that are you know res not resistant to your poison it's a, it, it's domino affecting into more and more deaths until everything is gone. All 
All right, so let's do some uh, some calculations here, though. So uh, so right now we have level forty one poison nova, which is pretty ridiculous. Um, but let's figure out level twenty. So level twenty poison nova synergized. That's what we need to figure out. What is level twenty poison nova synergized? That's how much damage the breath of the dying is doing every single time it has an effect. So, uh, so we're gonna go back into the game real quick. I'm gonna take off equipment until I can get my poison nova down to level twenty, and we're gonna see what the damage is of level twenty poison nova um, in relation to how much damage the breath of the dying is doing per death. So first thing we got to do is remove these. We also have to remove these, and uh, we'll see what we're at. So we're currently at 28. We've still got to remove more skills. So let's remove the stones. Um, let's also remove the uh, trophy. That brings us down to 24. And uh, then let's also remove the Maras and the Antarials. All right, so un so a synergized level twenty poison nova is three thousand one hundred nineteen to three thousand four hundred thirty six extra poison damage added on top of whatever's going on already. Um, every single time it procs, you're talking about basically about three thousand two hundred poison damage just stacking on top of whatever's going on, which doesn't seem like a, an amazingly large amount considering our fully synergized. Um, Poison Nova is doing a hell of a lot more. She's out of bath bombs, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you need bath bombs for Christmas? I'm gonna buy you a bath bomb sampler pack. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna blow, it's gonna blow your eyebrows off, and then I'm gonna have to break up with you because you don't got no eyebrows. Um, considering our Poison Nova is doing 11,360, um, you could say, what, 3,200 is approximately one-third of, of one of my full Novas. So for every three Novas that go off from the Breath of the Dying, it's the equivalent of one extra Poison Nova added onto the, uh, the, the string. But of course, I'm spamming my Novas, so it's absolutely free. It's, it's not like I'm... What is that? It looks like a it looks like a Clorox tablet. I'm desperate. It smells like soap or something. I don't know. It it I think that might be a bath bomb actually because it broke apart in my hand. Speed running, sleeping in the doghouse. No, 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 no. We're on good terms. Me and the girl are on good terms. All right, so I think this one is done. I don't really know what else we can test on this. I feel like it's working okay. Uh, I My takeaway from this build is putting a Breath of the Dying on your necromancer, your poison necromancer, is, uh, is not a bad idea. Gives you free extra poison novas. Why not? Free extra poison novas for everyone. Plus, if you go into like nightmare difficulty, you can run around beating everything with a sword. Check this out. See, I'm not even casting poison, though. No, 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 no. Come a little closer. Hmm. 
And the poison wrecks a nightmare difficulty, doesn't it? It just absolutely wrecks. The monsters don't even have a chance. I kind of want to see how it does at River of Flame. Just melee. I'm just going to be a melee necromancer assaulting Diablo. Melt. Who doesn't like their eyebrows blown back? Come on, eh? Not enough monster density. How do you know these things? <laughs> these characters are stupid. Are they're stupid? They're stupid. I don't know what to tell any y'all. I could literally just stand here. Let them beat on me. I could just stand here and let them beat on me, and I'd probably still kill them with poison. Poison Nova. Alright, that's enough for Mr. Poison Nova. That's interesting. It's an interesting build. I'm not going to lie. It was interesting. <laughs> 